bit of a brief introduction. In 2015, his book, this one here, John Solomon and the Fifth Island, was nominated to represent Malaysia in an International Authors Award in Italy. It's kind of like the Academy Awards for authors all over the world. And his book represented Malaysia in 2015, ladies and gentlemen. And he shared that honor in that year with J.K. Rowling, the popular author for the Harry Potter series. Now, we all here want to write a book. We all here want to learn how to write a book. But do we know how to write a beautiful book? So ladies and gentlemen, here to share with us a little bit about this book. Oh, by the way, before I call him, he, he, did make a, he wants me to ask your cooperation. Please, if you want, take lots of pictures of him. But him only, yeah? don't take pictures of his slides. Yeah? And because um, this, his book is still a work in progress and we would not want it to be out there in social media. So we hope that you can uh, understand and appreciate his sentiment on this. So please take lots of pictures of him only, but not of the slides. So ladies and gentlemen, the author of the upcoming book, How to Write a Beautiful Book, please put your hands together for Mr. Samuel Tew. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please give a big hand of applause to yourself again. Here and I would like to thank for the organizer team and uh, Mr. David Liu for inviting me to give a, small, a short talk about this uh, How to Write a Beautiful Book. Although this is just a 20 minutes talk, uh, I will do my level best to fit whatever is important point inside within the time frame. Is that okay? That's great, right? So I would like to know who here is already author. Please raise up your hand. Already author. Wow, look at that. Many authors in the room. Okay, who here is author to be? Or you are planning to write a book? Please raise your hand again. Wow, more people. And who want to learn the unique way, the outstanding way, how to write a perfect and beautiful book today? Please raise your hand again. Wow, give a big hand applause to yourself. Thank you. So many will agree with me. They are writing a book. There are few major challenges you need to face. One of the big challenges is about mental block. Either you are an experienced author or you are just a plan to write a book. The major challenge will always be your mental block. What mental block? Can you share with me some 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 can share with you what type of mental block you are facing when you write a book? Example: Some might getting worried like sorry. Some might getting worried like. Uh, before I start to write a book, will there be any readers who want to read my book? Is there one of the uh, want to write, what to write, and how to write? And uh, some mental block, something like uh, my language and my grammar is not that perfect yet. Is that okay for me to write a book? Don't worry, because we are not an English teacher here. So when you write a book, and before your manuscript gets published, you will get editor and proofreader to define your manuscript before go to publish. So that is not an issue. But the major issue, top list number one, mental block number one will be worry of no readers. This is always the biggest worry. I'm going to assure you, ladies and gentlemen here, everybody outside there, they have their own desire and goal and their dreams to achieve. And everyone just that they do not know how to achieve their dream, how to get it there. So our work as an author is play a very important role to show them the vehicle, to show them with the solution to their problem. As long as your books give them solution, there are always tons of readers out there. So this one solved the problem. This is the first mental problem. So second mental block will be what to write, what content to write, and how to write a book. This one I will share in the latest slide. And during the main writing, me writing mental block is the biggest mental block, block amongst all. Why? Because during the half day of writing, many authors will find out that suddenly you get blacked up. You don't know what to continue in the next chapter. Maybe chapter number two, number three, number four, you're blacked out already. And what will happen is that writer will give himself a big break, maybe a few days, maybe weeks, months, and even though for years, until the book cannot get finished. Am I right, Anna? Who have some experience with it? 
Oh, they gave a big applause to them. <laughs> so the rest is gonna be. All our mental block is something like similar to a big dog. A very big dog is our mental block. You just need to find the key to open this, this big dog. So today I'm going to share with you, within my time frame, I'm going to give you, present you with three solutions, the three keys to open this door. Will that be great? Yes. Yeah. Alright, thank you. So this is my book on process. Book title, How to Work, Beautiful Book. No one teach as simple as I do. And these 12 chapters is already done. The draft and contents 12 keys is already done. Now just on the defining process before to get published. That's why I said request do not take photo, accept my video man. Alright? Okay, thank you. So the key number one. Key number one is very important, is to create your own writing system. Create a new habit in place and new habit in time. This is very important. Why I say that? Some people like to write books in your reading room. Like when I write my John Solomon and the Fifth Island, I write it in my reading room. Okay? During my writing for this, how to write a beautiful book, I write in my bedroom on my bed. Because I got two handphones, so I use WhatsApp to write the book and I forward to my little handphone number. That is how I write my second book. So some prefer to write it, some prefer to write it in the toilet, maybe, I don't know. Because some people in the toilet for one or two hours, so why not? And some write in the bus, some write in the train. Like J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter author, she wrote the Harry Potter series all in on the train. On the way to the works, to works and on the way back. On the train. So this is a J.K. Rowling and sent to New Haven of Timing. She wrote during the time to go to work and come back. Somebody would like to write during midnight time. I prefer to write midnight. Yeah, you, you will find many authors, they like to, like to write midnight also. Myself, I write 12 o'clock until 2 a.m. every day. One day, two hours. Because during night time, midnight, is the most peaceful timing for our brain to get focus and inspiration to come up. That is the best time to write. Okay, and I write for every day, two hours, one day, one page. After one and a half year, my jaws of my fifth other books comes out 500 pages. It's a novel actually. <coughs> so some you can write during lunch break, dinner, or before sleep. All is up to you. But it must be customized tailor based on your own habit. This is the most important. Because whenever you go to the place, regular place, automatic not. It is time to focus. Understand? Is a habit just like for those smoker. Every time you have to just finish your meal, it's time to take up one cigarette. You get the point? Okay, this is very important. And key number two, key number two, I'm going to present to you is the most unique and most important key for today's uh, this uh, sharing. Because why? This is the uh, I'm the founder of of this key number two. Nobody teach like what I'm going to share with you. So this is going to clear all your problems. What problem? First, many writers will find themselves that how thick should I write for my book? Is that a problem? That is an issue to concern, right? How thick should I write for my book? When should I stop? And halfway writing, suddenly I break out, what should I do? How to solve this problem? So key number two will solve all, give all answer to your, to your, to your these, uh, questions. All right? To make it, because it's a very important key, how about we sit straight forward a little bit? To focus more? Okay, straight forward. Key number two is to design the chapter one. Finish design chapter one, straight away jump to chapter ending chapter. You get a part, huh? Design the chapter one first, then straight away jump to the point to ending, design the ending chapter, straight away. Reason very simple. Because by doing so, you will find my, yourself uh, you, your, is a super booster to your creativity and, and this inspiration. Many unexpected ideas and surprise result, and it will create a mental block. Let me put it this way as an example. Now, your first chapter is about from, from Banda Street Tali. Your first chapter. Your ending chapter will be 
reaching in Jehovah room. There is your ending chapter. Now, how to write the second chapter and third, third chapter onwards? Just by writing, now I start my key, I take a good breakfast, all the way I bypass to Sedam, Malakong, Sedam, then uh, Gajah, Bangi, and which Suraban, I take my breakfast. And suddenly I make some small accidents and get you know some good friends, new friends there. That is the story of chapter number two. Then continue, I go to where Malacca and so on and so forth. So this is how you continue your chapter until and then you know you are going to reach Jehovah Ru in the end. Imagine if you do not have an ending chapter where where you want to stop. After Jehovah Ru, you are going to continue to Singapore again, to Brunei or Kalimantan. It's a never ending story. So you will find out the book will be, become too thick. There were some articles I read before. They teach people, you write chapter one very beautifully. Then continue chapter two and chapter three until you feel you want to stop. You just take five that and you stop. Nobody will like to write, read a book with 1,000 pages or 2,000 pages. Do you get a point? So with this very clear, clear direction, you know how to match the dog. In between, it's just to match the dog and become a nice chapter story continue. Clear about this? Okay, that's great. So, and also you understand the core content of a direction very clear. And easy to estimate the book thickness, how many chapters you do. You can estimate all out already. The whole picture is there. That's, what, that's how I write, I finish this uh, content draft within one month time. Very simple and very fast. Because I got first chapter and one chapter straight away. There's no chapter one, two, three, four, five until when to stop. And I give you another example. Let's say you want to write a book, self-help book about diet. About diet, your first chapter, you must write it in a different perspective to catch people's as, uh, uh, attention. For any writer, when you want to write a book, you want something to be outstanding. Don't put anything normal, anything that everybody already know. So how to be outstanding, different perspective. Let's say the book about diet. First chapter you can say, must eat for diet. You must eat because many people say diet don't eat, control your food. But this will give a wrong signal to your body because our immune system thought that our body is sick. We are weak and we don't consume much. That's why it doesn't pass out weight or waste many wastage and hold the food in our colon. That's why you cannot get fit. You get a point, you cannot get diet. So this is what a different perception chapter number one. And chapter ending chapter, if you say have a strappy and sexy body, wearing night market clothes also looks like a model. So guys, what is what will be the best story of this book? Get the body shape right. Good body shape. So the context in between can be is what it won't be about diet la, what healthy food to eat la, what how is the way la. No. Definitely this book will be about exercise because you need a strappy body. So what type of exercise we share here? Maybe about that Zumba. You know Zumba? About Zumba. The good about Zumba, the bad about Zumba. Yes. And you can share also about this uh, aerobic dance, yoga, all those kind of exercises because you know the ending said so. You need to have a result that can match the ending. And let's say, because the first chapter can be very general to any diet book. Let's say your ending you just put uh, how to have a healthy lifestyle and a healthy uh, body. Then you know this book will be focused on your diet and your food. Or your ending, let's say you put how to effortlessly donate, effortlessly uh, donate diet and still can get a shaky body. So maybe this book content can be Something like how to use the right machine, introduce few type of machine to use effortlessly. You get a point? So it's very simple to write a book, especially self help book is the most easiest book to write self help. Alright? So this is uh, point number two and point number key number two. Key number three. Research is to create. This one I will explain about what to write inside a book. Do you have this issue? What to write in the book? Anyone have this issue? Please 
show me your hand. No issue, ah. So I can jump, jump to the point, ah. What do you expect, or not? Okay. Key number three, okay, is research to create what to write in the content of your book is very important. But how to write it? Eh? Where to find the details? Eh? Very simple only. Let's say you want to write a book about property investment, assume. And now you need to do all the research in the market, in the internet, in the market, and search for everything can related to property. The knowledge the information about property. Then you check. You check what is missed out in the market that nobody has right yet. You add in. The, as the point is like this. Let's say in the market they got import information like point number one, point number two, point number three in the market area. Now in your new post you must write point number one, point number two, number three, and your own point number four, number five, and number six. You get my meaning? So your book become very interesting and very outstanding. But the point must be practically doable. Practically doable. Alright? Give a big hand applause loud. Don't be so serious. <laughs> so far so good? Yes. Great? Yes. Okay, thank you. So to add on value is to add on a point. And the second, second way is to find correction on different perspective. What does that mean? This front perspective means whatever is in the market, you just correct it or give a different idea or different point of view. Example, the property book of Richard Pollet. Have you read, read this book before? Who have read this book? Give me your hand. Show me please. Rich that poor that. Wow, a lot of people, right? By Robert Kiyosaki. So this book, what is the, the main content that catch your interest for this book about property, right? So the one perception he talk, uh, he said, Robert Kiyosaki said, is that property is not an asset. It's a liability. Am I right? It's a liability. Because of this statement, it has captured the attention of all the leaders in the world and become very famous. This is a different perspective. What else? Example, direct to meet. Nowadays, many people talk about I want to I want to take diet, but you want to eat meat, any type of meat also you can eat, as long as no tax sugar. There is a new formula, right? To keep diet. So this is a new way of different perspective you can share about. What else? We can see Harry Potter books. Harry Potter is teaching about a talk, uh, story is telling about reason, witches and wizard. Wizard is nothing special, very common. But why Harry Potter become a bestseller of the world? Do you know that? Because the story is telling about the school that create wizard. Am I right? The school that create wizard and different perspective become very famous already. Just like that, simple and easy for Avatar. For Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle is Chao Seng Ji, Stephen Chow. You watch the movie, right? For Stephen Chow movie, although it's a movie, you must understand that every movie before comes goes to get published, there, there, there's a manuscript. There's a book also, just to get published on it. So for Kung Fu, Kung, sorry, Kung Fu is something very common. But for soccer, also very common. But they merge together. Kung Fu and Sao, Kung Fu and Soccer become Kung Fu Sao and another blockbuster. You get a point here? Yeah? Who get a point raise your hand? You got a point? Great. That's great. And also, one more thing. PVAP. You know what is PVAP or not? Don't know? I have a pen. I have a pencil. Pencil or pen? Apple and pineapple. Yes, you are great. Okay, so you see, just use a pen. It's nothing special. You know, apple is nothing special. Pineapple is also nothing special. But you add together, ah, uh, you can keep it here. So famous. So all this is about different perspective and mix and merge. The creativity comes just to your core. That's the way. Alright? So, uh, that's basically that's all my sharing for today. So I hope it does help and benefit some of you here. And, uh, 
I really sincerely hope that you can try your first three steps first. After that, by that time, my, uh, the book how to write will be full book should be at the end of this year. So, and also for this novel, I got only got eight minutes left, lah, two thousand thirty edition. Anybody interested can get from me the idea of this. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give Mrs. Hamilton another round of applause. Take a copy of his book, John Solomon and the Fifth Island, right after this next session where we go for our networking break here. Yeah? Now, moving on to our.